Section 1.6, dimensional analysis. So dimensional analysis is a method of calculating um, using the knowledge of units. So how units are related to each other. So you can convert uh, one type of unit into another type of unit. So you could convert meters into inches or uh, meters per second into miles per hour or or anything that you know into something that you don't know as long as you have a relationship that that you can can use so um, if you know a relationship so that two things are equal to each other so you know that 12 inches are in one foot then you can use that knowledge that 12 inches are in one foot in order to convert so many feet into inches or so many inches into feet so you have some units that you don't want and you want to go to some other units, you use dimensional analysis to do it. There are very simple problems and then there's more involved problems. So here is the one thing I'd like you to memorize from this section and that is, uh, and we'll use it a lot, it's how you would go from British units of measurement into, or uh, length, into metric units. And that is that one inch is going to be equal to 2.54 centimeters and that's a definition so it's those are exact numbers and so you can use them so if I were to say um, how many centimeters are in three inches well you start with what you're given three inches now you want to use a conversion factor and a conversion factor is going to be a fraction and it can be in any any direction so both of these are equal conversion factors one inch is 2.54 centimeters or 2.454 centimeters is one inch so essentially that line is a divided line but they're equal to each other so if you were to take 10 divided by 10 you get the number one if I get 12 inches and divide by one foot I still have the number one because they're equal to each other. So if I multiply by the number one, I'm not changing its value. All I'm doing is canceling the units that I have and getting other units. Now I've got inches and I want to get rid of inches. So I need to cancel inches with a top bottom fraction, just like you did in grade school. So I want to put inches on the bottom. So that means I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to multiply by that number one. So I'm going to say in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. Inches are now canceled with each other because I've got one on the top of the fraction and one on the bottom of a multiplied fraction. Now three times 2.54 is going to equal 7.62. And now I'm in centimeters. So that's how you do dimensional analysis. You're always looking for a conversion factor, and then you um, are always um, multiplying and canceling units as you go. So here's a review. Whatever given unit you have is going to cancel by dividing by that same unit. So if I have a unit that I have and I want to get rid of it, I cancel it by putting it on the bottom of a fraction that I'm going to multiply and that fraction has to equal one and the way it does equal one is that the top and bottom have to be identical in amount so like 12 inches is the same length as one foot they are equal to each other so I can put one on the top and one on the bottom the one on the bottom cancels with the one that I'm given and then my desired unit is the one that I'll end up with and that's called a conversion factor Here's another example, eight meters, two inches. And I've asked you to memorize 2.54 centimeters to the inch. Well, I if I only know centimeters to the inch and I'm given meters, I have to go to centimeters so that I can use centimeters to the inch and centimeters will cancel. So that means I need to go from meters to centimeters. These two things here have to be equal to each other, one meter and 100 centimeters are equal so meters needs to go in the bottom so it'll cancel and I'll say in one meter there are a hundred centimeters now when I at multiply eight times a hundred I'm now in centimeters okay so I'm not in inches yet so I'm not done so I'm gonna do it again so this is a 
so I'm, so I'm going to do a, a two or more con unit conversion factors. So centimeters on the bottom, 2.54 centimeters to the inch, I've memorized that. And so I put it on the bottom, centimeters now cancel. My answer now is in inches, so it's eight times 100 divided by 2.54. My answer is inches. Once that I've got what I've asked, been asked for, then I'm finished, 315 inches. So here is what it would look like if you just stretch it out. You're given inches, you want centimeters. That means you keep working until you have centimeters. When you have centimeters, you've finished. So I know that in one inch, there's 2.54 centimeters. My inches now cancel. I'm now in centimeters, I'm done. So 8.5 times 2.54 will give you your desired unit. So many of these conversion factors, you're not gonna memorize. I never memorize pounds into grams, but it's in a book somewhere, it's on the internet, I can find it, and you give me the conversion factor, you tell me that in one pound there's so many grams, then I can convert it. Okay, I don't fill my mind with stuff to memorize, I just want to be able to use what I have. So, let's say you're given that five, uh, 4 or four hundred fifty-three point six grams is equal to one pound. Okay, how many grams are in 1.2 pounds. How many grams? So the way I would do it is I'm going to, I usually write an arrow like this. This is just for myself. I keep working until I get to grams. When I get to grams, I'm done. Okay, otherwise I don't know when to stop because I just keep doing dimensional analysis, one conversion factor after another. I can convert from one unit to another and I need to know that as soon as I get grams and everything else is gone, I'm done. So I'm going to stay, start with what I have, 1.21 or 1.2 pounds. And here is my conversion factor, 1 pound, 453.6 grams. Pounds cancel. So this is a multiplication problem. It's top times top. And I have... That equal to 544.32 pounds. Now, I have to now use significant digits here. So I was given two significant digits here in 1.2. I was given four significant digits here. My calculator gave me five. So I have to round to two. So if I have five... Let me uh, let me rewrite that. This is going to be 544.32 pounds, but I only want two significant digits. So I go back to two. Well, I need a zero because I can't just say it's 54 because it's 544. So my answer is going to be 540 um, grams. This is grams because pounds canceled. So 540, there's two significant digits there. That zero is, in, is insignificant because it's a trailing zero. And that's how you do it. So now let's go from meters to inches. You know 2.54 centimeters to the inch. So if I have um, 9.01 meters and I want to go to inches, then I have to get to centimeters. That means I want to get rid of meters. In one meter, there's 100 centimeters. Meters are now canceled. I'm in centimeters. Now I can use what I know. There's 2.54 centimeters in one inch. Centimeters have now canceled. I'm in inches. That means I'm done. It's 9 times 100 divided by 2.54. Now it can get more complicated. Here is a derived unit of meters per second, and they want you to go to miles per hour. It just means that you are going to have to use more than one conversion factor. You have to get meters down to centimeters, then flip from centimeters to inches, then go up from inches to miles. You also have to go from seconds up to hours, usually through minutes, because I don't know how many seconds are in an hour. So if I were to say two meters per second, and I want miles per hour, 
All right, there's more than one step here, so you just start. Meters, I want meters done. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. Meters have now set, uh, so now it is in centimeters per second. All right, let me um, erase this, and I'll put it the other way. So this is two meters in a second. See, this way I can see that I've got a bottom. I've got a, they're all on the bottom and we're all on the top. Meters over seconds. All right, now, so I've got meters are canceled. Now I've got centimeters per second. Now I can use what I know, 2.54 centimeters in an inch. Now I've got inches per second. Now I need to know how many inches are in a mile. So I, I know how many inches are in a foot. So 12 inches, one foot. Okay, so now I've got feet per second. Now I happen to know from my fourth grade teacher that it's 5,280 feet in one mile. So now I'm in miles per second. So I've taken care of the distance. Now I have to do the time. So I have to keep going for time. That means I've got seconds on the bottom down here. So I need to have seconds on the top up here. In 60 seconds, I've got one minute. So seconds now cancel. Now I've got miles per minute. And I know that in there's 60 minutes in one hour, minutes cancel. Now I've got miles per hour. So you just keep going, keep going, keep going until you do it. 2 times 100 divided by 2.54 divided by 12 divided by 5,280 times 60 times 60 equals whatever. Note too that if you have a compound unit of like a, a square or a cube, you have to do the re, you have to do the transformation twice or three times depending. So if I have square inches and I'm given a density, okay. So let's say the density here, 19.3. I think that's gold. So this is the density of gold. So 19.3 grams uh, per milliliter, which is a cubic centimeter. And I am given cubic inches. So let's say I'm given um, one cubic inch of gold. And I want to know how many grams are in the gold. And the, where I get the information is the density that's given is 19.3 grams for every milliliter, for every cubic centimeter. So I need to know, first of all, how many cubic centimeters there are. Well, I'm going to recopy this. I would always recopy this. I'm going to do it just so that I don't mess up. You can see what they've given you on this sheet, that it's 2.54 centimeters to the inch cubed. For whatever reason, that scares me, and I can just do it simpler, simpler by just reducing it twice, or three times. So I'm going to say one cubic inch is one inch times an inch times an inch. Okay, that's how I've written it. Now I'm going to use what I know three times. So I have in one inch, 2.54 centimeters, and I'm going to do that again. In one inch, I have 2.54 centimeters, and in one inch, I have 2.54 centimeters. Inches cancels with that inches, this inches cancels with this inches, this inches cancels with this inches, and now when I multiply it, it's going to be centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. That's centimeters cubed. Right now that I've got centimeters cubed, um, I can go here in one centimeter cubed. There are 19.3 grams. So this one centimeter cubed can cancel that centimeter, that centimeter, and that centimeter. Now I've got grams, and that's all I want, and so I'm done. So it's one times 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 times 19.3, and that will be grams. So dimensional analysis, extremely um, useful. Um, you're going to ask yourself what data is given, what quantity do I want, and what conversion factor is available for me to get from where I am to where I want to be.